Hey everyone, welcome to another installment of Harry Potter Theory. In this video, we're going to be discussing everyone's favourite character, Dolores Umbridge. As we know, in the 1995-1996 to school year, the Ministry of Magic put out a statement expressing that they were unimpressed with the slipping standards of Hogwarts. However, in reality, the standards at Hogwarts were not slipping. This statement was purely the result of a fearful Minister of Magic, Fudge, lashing out. He was blinded by fear and in utter denial that the Dark Lord Voldemort had returned. The statement suggesting slipping standards at Hogwarts were the result of Fudge punishing Dumbledore, who was so strongly trying to convince him of the truth. Long story short, Dumbledore's continual attempts to convince Fudge of this truth eventually led to him being stripped of his title as headmaster at Hogwarts. In place of Dumbledore, the Ministry of Magic appointed Dolores Umbridge, who, in that same school year, worked as the Defense Against the Dark Arts professor as well as the Hogwarts High Inquisitor. Dolores Umbridge is a British half-blood witch who served as Senior Undersecretary to the Minister for Magic under three different Ministers of Magic, Cornelius Fudge, Rufus Scrimger, and Pius Thickness. During her time at Hogwarts, she had enormous power over the students, teachers, curriculum, grounds, and basically everything. She had this power in all three of her postings, and it of course came primarily because of her close connection to the Ministry, who have a significant say in how Hogwarts operates. For the duration that she was at Hogwarts, she made the lives of the students increasingly miserable. She did everything wrong. She would conduct unreasonable and abusive punishments, as we see in the I Will Not Tell Lies scene in The Order of the Phoenix. She would speak to students and staff members condescendingly, and she just sucked. She definitely wasn't Hogwarts' most popular headmaster. One thing that she's known for was the implementation of educational decrees at Hogwarts. Educational decrees are laws created by the Ministry of Magic, which enforce standards at the school. The introduction of educational decrees was instigated by Umbridge, and it allowed Umbridge and the Ministry to begin to expel and punish students for actions that would have previously been fine. It gave the Ministry and Umbridge complete power over everyone inside of Hogwarts. It was a total dictatorship, and no one had a voice that could contend with them. Supposedly, there was one other organization involved with the introduction of these decrees, called the Very Important Members of Section MITRX. This group was a board of jurists who had the power to approve or deny educational decrees. One thing worth noting is that there's quite a major discrepancy between the books and films on the matter of educational decrees. In the book, there are only 28 educational decrees, but the film took some liberties with this and went a little overboard, introducing over 136 decrees in total, the pure volume of these decrees nearly covering the entire wall outside of the Great Hall. Hanging up decrees definitely meant that Filch had his work cut out for him. We don't actually know what all 136 decrees are, but here are the ones from the books and films that we do know about. Most of these decrees were only visible in the film for a split second. There is also some crossover here, and many of these decrees are simply revisions of prior decrees. Additionally, the numbering is inconsistent between the books and films. For example, decree number 68 in the films is decree number 24 in the book. Anyway, let's get started. Number 1. Any student found in possession of a spell check charmed quill will be severely punished. Number 9. Any student found in possession of sweets from unauthorized suppliers will be expelled. Number 12. Hogwarts School will be subject to informal scrutiny by an appointed ministry member. Number 23. Dolores Jane Umbridge has been appointed to the post of Hogwarts High Inquisitor. This one matches the books. Number 24. No music is to be played during study hours. Number 25. Broomsticks may not be flown on school grounds unless during authorized Quidditch practice. Number 26. Boys and girls are not permitted to be within six inches of each other. Number 29. Extracurricular activities are subject to review by the High Inquisitor. Number 30. All Weasley products will be banned immediately. Number 31. Boys and girls are not permitted to be within eight inches of each other. Number 35. Any items deemed not of educational value are henceforth banned. Number 37. Boys must be seen to keep their hands on the outside of their school capes. 
aka don't put your hands in your pockets. Number 38, non-educational toys and games are banned. Number 39, ones to be confiscated from students casting recreational spells. All magical objects to be held by High Inquisitor until further notice. Number 41, students may not discuss the upsetting events of last year. Anyone found doing so will be punished. Number 45, proper dress and decorum is to be maintained at all times. Number 46, any literature by non-wizards or half-breeds is banned forthwith. Number 47, students must consent to have their posts checked for illegal contraband. Number 48, any complaints about Hogwarts or its staff must be made in writing to the High Inquisitor. Number 49, all Quidditch matches are hereby cancelled. Broomsticks will be turned into the High Inquisitor for safekeeping. Number 67, exploding bonbons are no longer permitted to explode. Hand in immediately to Ministry Disposal Unit. Number 68. All student organizations, societies, teams, groups, and clubs are henceforth disbanded. An organization, society, team, group, or club is hereby defined as a regular meeting of three or more students. Permission to reform may be sought from the High Inquisitor. No student organization, society, team, group, or club may exist without the knowledge and approval of the High Inquisitor. Any student found to have formed or to belong to an organization, society, team, group, or club that has not been approved by the High Inquisitor will be expelled. This is number 24 in the books. Number 74. All owls must be tagged to comply with owl post ministry censorship legislation. Number 75. All pets other than owls are confined to house common rooms and dormitories. Number 76. Any student found in possession of the magazine The Quibbler will be expelled. This is number 27 in the books. Number 77. Teachers are hereby banned from giving students any information that is not strictly related to the subjects that they are paid to teach. This is number 26 in the books. Number 81. Red howlers are forbidden on the premises. Number 82. All students will submit to questioning about suspected illicit activities. Number 98. Those wishing to join the inquisitorial squad for extra credit may sign up in the High Inquisitor's office. Number 99. Students are not permitted to change their hair color, eye color, shoe size, or any other physical abnormality using magic. Number 109. Students performing prohibited incantations will be subject to severe punishment under section 28. Number 119. Dolores Jane Umbridge has replaced Albus Dumbledore as the head of Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. This is number 28 in the books. Number 128. No student organization, society, team, group, or club may exist without the knowledge and approval of the High Inquisitor. Number 129. Students must observe new restrictions regarding library and common room access. Number 133. Any authorized textbooks will be confiscated immediately from the offending student. And 136. All students will be cooperative and forthcoming with information regarding suspicious behavior or outlawed activities. And that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Did I miss any of the decrees? Do you agree with any of the decrees? What rules would you put in place? Let me know down in the comment section below. Until next time, you're a wizard, wizard Harry. Harry.